Important documents, weapons reduced to ashes as major fire broke out at Crime Investigation Department office in Babupara. House of Second Session of 12th Manipur Legislative Assembly passes demands for grants of over 2,461 crore rupees on day 7. Chief Minister Nongthong Bambirin says Sangai Ethnic Heritage Park has been shifted to Moirang Kunao as a park at Kaibulam would harm Sangai's habitat. MLA Kumukcham Joy Kishin draws state assembly's attention to loss of life due to time taken in checking by 20 assam rifles at Kudengkabi check post. Chief Minister N. Biren seeks public cooperation in lifting liquor banned in Manipur. Biren says it will boost state income and save lives from spurious liquor. MPCC party takes jive at BJP government for failing to uproot corruption, says corruption-free claim is a shame. It means carrying out corruption. Manipur locks 59 new confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the past 24 hours. Coronavirus infects 1,39,133 people so far. And India adds 16,464 new COVID-19 cases. Above 16,000 recoveries and 39 deaths in 24 hours. COVID case load stands above 1,43,000. Good evening and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. To stay protected from coronavirus, wash your hands frequently, wear your masks properly and maintain a safe distance. And I'm Premi Thangchum bringing you the news in details. Important documents and weapons were burnt to ashes as a major fire broke out at the Crime Investigation Department CID office at Babupara in the wee hours today. The fire is believed to have been caused by an electric short circuit in the room for taking crime fingerprints. The fire mostly damaged the rooms of CID Technical, SP Security and SP Crime Branch. Manipur Fire Service tried to douse the fire but it was untamable and looking at the possibility of spreading of adjacent buildings of BSNL Imphal Secretariat and Imphal West Police Station. Help from other fire stations was called in to contain the fire. DJP of Manipur Police, P. Dongle, has inspected the site. Today, on the seventh day of the ongoing second session of 12th Manipur Legislative Assembly, House members unanimously passed demands for grants worth 2,461 crore, 80,10,000 rupees pertaining to seven different departments. The grants passed today include 2,201,39 lakh. 21,000 rupees for police department, 8 crore, 24 lakh, 19,000 rupees for vigilance and anti-corruption department, 35 crore, 87 lakh, 83,000 rupees for fire protection and control, 42 crore, 67 lakh, 78,000 rupees for jails, 52 crore, 51 lakh, 89,000 rupees for home guards, 6 crore 94 lakh 32,000 rupees for rehabilitation, 114 crore 14 lakh 88,000 rupees for relief and disaster management. House Leader and Chief Minister Nongthom Bambirin, who also hold in 
charge of the finance ministry moved the demands in the house. Opposition MLAs K. Ranjit, K. Meghachandra, T. H. Lokeshwar and Surjit Kumar Okram raised policy cut motions while MLAs Abdul Nasser and M. Rameshwar gave observation. After hearing clear cut replies from the relevant ministers, House unanimously passed the demands. Chief Minister Nong Thombambrain says construction of Sangai Ethnic Heritage Park started in Moirang Kuno since Kaibulamja was not a proper location, considering that it would have disturbed the natural habitat of the endangered state animal. He was responding to the calling attention raised by Sugnu MLA K. Ranjit in the house today regarding the protest by locals of Kaibulamja against the shifting of the park to Moirang Kuno. Chief Minister N. Birin said he has met with the people of Kaibul Lamjau on the matter. He assured that another suitable project would be taken up in Kaibul Lamjau. The Chief Minister sought cooperation from the residents of Kaibul Lamjau to the government's initiative. Thangmaiban MLA Kumukchum Joy Kishin today drew the attention of the House on the incident of loss of life of a patient who was brought in an ambulance reportedly due to the delay caused by checking by 20 Assam rifles at Kudeng Tabi check post in Technopal district. The MLA raised the issue during the zero hour of the ongoing assembly session. Citing the news of the incident that was widely published today in local newspapers, the MLA accused Assam rifles at Kudeng Tabi for unnecessary harassing common people in earlier instances as well. He urged the government to prevent such incidents. Chief Minister Nong Thombambirin seeks public cooperation in lifting the ban on liquor in the state. Responding to MLA K. Ranjit during the question hour of the second session of the ongoing 12th Manipur Legislative Assembly in the seventh sitting today, House Leader Nong Thombambirin said lifting the ban on liquor will help in earning around 600 to 700 crore rupees per annum. At the same time, prevent health hazards due to consumption of spurious liquor being sold illegally. He recalled that the State Assembly Committee was even formed by the previous government to enable the sale of liquor in the state under the Manipur Liquor Prohibition Amendment Bill 2018. The Chief Minister also clarified that the state government has nothing to do with the sale of local liquor produced in Payeng, Andro and some other villages. Education Minister T. H. Basanta says the Manipur government plans to establish a state university. He was responding to Churchanpur MLA L. M. Kauti during the questioned hour in the House today with regards to shortages facing Churchanpur College and Lamka College, including introduction of new courses. The Education Minister mentioned that colleges under Manipur University are facing inconveniences in adhering to the ever-changing guidelines prescribed by the Centre. Hence, the state is planning on establishing a university of its own and plans to set up campuses of the proposed university in the Hill Districts. He maintained that the government has chalked out new departments in Lamka College and Churchanpur College. The minister said the government has provided Wi-Fi service to 39 colleges, including those two colleges. Health Minister Dr. Sapam Ranjan assures of providing adequate doctors, nurses and specialist doctors at District Hospital in Ukrul at the earliest. 
It was responding to the cruel Emily Ram Muiva during the question hour in the House today. Minister Ranjan said the state is facing an overall shortage of doctors, nurses and specialist doctors, but necessary measures will be taken for the welfare of the people of Ukrul district. He also appealed to health workers to promptly attend once transferred to the district hospital, Ukrul. Ziribam Emile Ashab Udin drew the attention of the government to make the learning of Mitai Maye compulsory in all the schools of Ziribam district. He raised the matter during the question hour in the house today. He emphasized that Ziribam is inhabited by people of different communities, hence Manipuri Mitai Maye should be introduced as a common language. The MLA also urged the government to task the Manipur board with publishing the MIL Bengali books which are being currently published by the Assam board in order to make the books more relevant to the state scenario. Chief Minister N. Birin today announced in the house that Chief Engineer of the Minor Irrigation H. Brajendra has been suspended for trying to mislead the House by feeding wrong information regarding work projects undertaken by the Minor Irrigation Department in Kundrakpam constituency. This came to light after MLA T. H. Lokeshwar expressed disappointment over the response given by Chief Minister N. Burain to his star question. The Chief Minister had responded that the Minor Irrigation Department had completed all projects, reacting to the MLA's dissatisfaction. Chief Minister N. Birin initiated an inquiry and found out that the chief engineer had furnished him with wrong reports as the works we are not indeed completed. Hence, the chief engineer has been suspended. Members of Manipur Legislative Assembly today paid a two-minute silence as a tribute to the former Tipaimuk MLA, Selkai Rangchul, who passed away recently. House Leader Nongthomba Birin, Opposition Leader Okrami Bobi, Churchanpur MLA LM Kaute, Thangmaiban MLA Komukcham Joykishin, Tipaimuk MLA Ngur Sanglur Sanate and Speaker Thokchom Satyabrata gave obituary reference. They remembered the late leader with anecdotes of their interaction with him and also loaded his works and contributions. Meanwhile, the House also expressed happiness over Mirabai Chanu and Bindiarani Sorokaibam in winning the medals in the ongoing Commonwealth Games. Congress party takes a jibe at the BJP government for failing to uproot corruption in the state. Speaking to media at Congress Bhavan today, Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee Vice President Hareshwar Goswami said Manipur is one of the most corrupted states in the country as per the Niti Aayog 2021 20, index. He alleged the government of keeping silent instead of taking action against one additional chief engineer of PMGSY who was reportedly arrested with 70 lakh rupees from his office in April. I'm Pazabazaba Mamin Ton Bahiba, Pazabazaba, why was that in the Bahiba? Anti corruption sale guy in a department in a Toduna, Nala, the Ontoko, Oninga Toba, Miamda, corruption, the lay the lay and the wig man, but Kanunba, Cook the Quidus Hanover Port, I say, Sam of the Sam of Makuna Toriba, see, Arambani, in Hibernate, Record Nasakini, Madusu Indiagi, Prime Minister, and the CR Parton Weber, Adumba report, Amagi. Aduna Saki with a porta, Manipur, Karabsan, the Quebec Lok Labour, Lokotava, Sar City, a quick Tagatava, Aduga Karabsani Kiese, Bek Lok Layan by State, Singi Manunda, Manipur, Sam of the Sama Labour say, Aduni Hibu Wakumasi, among the Jay Tom Degre. BJP Manipur Pradesh Legal Cell Convena, Bharatiya Janata Yuva Mocha, Infa West District, President Lukram Tibet, and Bharatiya Janata Yuva Mocha, Infa East District. General Secretary Dina Chandra Sapam had lodged a complaint against MPCC to Imphal West District SP and City Police Station OC. 
The police complaint alleged Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee of bringing plight to the public and police during its protest carried out at Kangla Western Gate on July 21st. Manipur added 59 new confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the past 24 hours. As per the latest report of from State Health Department and COVID-19 Common Control Room, coronavirus have affected 1,39,133 people and claimed 2,129 lives in the state so far. Active, recovered and dead cases have not been updated till the time of filing this report. On the note, it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring in updates on coronavirus cases in India and the world. Welcome back. Keep watching Impact News. Sharon is a question of foundation Nagam Falls for Amir Infar class 11 number 12 science ke admission house in 8 academic subject in day physics chemistry biology maths day adult class 8 9 10 ke second best foundation course of house in day CBSC ma di boss na mito wanta wanta class like any class ki matam na nusul pumari makai da gina umidal hong tere makai pawani class ho wagi matam na august na ma english ngani kuni kwenye upa ama sunupi ito wanta wanta then service na hostel kudong sabu lagi Kananjaba Panthavi Housing Finance Company Limited amasung sister company singi Maikai degi khanglakli madudi company sing asitagi loan lokraga defaulter oina leiri ba loanee member singa lakli ba July gi tang tara ga manga English singan ge kuni thoi fau gi manungda isa isa gi loan du sing sing dok pi ga dabani hayeng mak head office amasung branch office singa lakpira ga due amount sing adu sing dok piu thausha bitra ba di isa isa gi property sing sarfasi act 2002 gi makhada auction tok tok chara Hanasu auctioned Toba Yaukrabani. Kanganjariba, Panthavi Housing Finance Company Limited, Amasung Sister Company Singh. Tarangbam Lakai, Uripok Imphal. Unique Net Academy by a team of well qualified, experienced, and sincere teachers. Admission open and EET UGG Foundation course. Lakli ba August ki tang ahum dagi hujaragani. Updated study material, pija bata natana. Doubt clearing classes, no majin kuting ki test amadi. Test matung questions amasung answers analysis. Taubagi kudong jabasu pija di. Class amada mahire kuntra da nitwe dagi handana la handuna. Teacher students interaction to hangar hand bata natana. Hostel ki kudong jabasu pija di. Class ki timing na. Nungthil ki pung ama makai dagi manga makai fao ba tham jiri. Registration tau bugi aroi ba namit na July gi taang kuntra matho hi da oi gani. Kudong chaba sing asi lau bhi hao, aku pamarol gi namak Unique Net Academy, Sega Road Konjeng Hajari Laikai, opposite Sangai Krishtagi, khang bibi a gani. Classic Hospitality Training Institute, a unit of Babina Healthcare and Hospitality Industries Private Limited initiated by Classic Group of Hotels, admission open, for one year diploma in hotel management and six months course in food preparation and culinary arts. For free counseling, visit us at Hotel Imphal by the Classic 3rd Floor, North AOC Imphal, Manipur, from 9.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. For more details, please contact Classic Hospitality Training Institute, phone number 690-935-8685. Presto personalized wonders. Imphal da nauna hangdok chari. Haidi basida personalized gifts, corporate gifts, awards and mementos, home decor, office rubber stamp na chingba potlam sing. Mapham asida phangdi gani. Ngasi maglang sing bira u. Telegrass Enterprises. Presto Thangal Bazaar niyar kasturi chong Imphal. Contact number 0385-244-9025 Natraga 9862100456. Welcome back. Welcome back after the break and you're watching Primetime English News. India added 16,464 new COVID-19 cases, 16,112 recoveries and 39 deaths in the last 24 hours. As per the latest report of Union Minister of Health and Family Welfare, India's COVID-19 active case total stands at 1,43,989. Total recoveries are 4 crore 33,65,890. Recovery rate stands at 98.48%. Death toll reaches 5,26,396. Over 204 crore 34 lakh doses of COVID-19 vaccine have been administered in India so far. Coronavirus has infected above 58 crore 24 lakh 59,000 people. It has claimed above 64 lakh 20,000 people and recoveries are above 55 crore 
27,72,000. USA has the highest active cases of above 38,12,000 in the world. Manipur Governor Laganeshan today inaugurated the Dental College block on the new Modular Operation Theatre of Regional Institute of Medical Sciences. Speaking on the occasion, Governor Laganeshan expressed satisfaction over Rims Imphal making it among the top 50 medical colleges of India for the fourth consecutive year in the NIRF ranking. He expressed confidence that a new dental college block will play a crucial role in providing high-quality oral care facilities in the state. Praising the efforts of all doctors and health workers, the governor urged them to retreat their patients with love and compassion. RIMS Director Professor A. Santa and Medical Superintendent Professor and Sanjeev were present on the occasion. The Regional Institute of Medical Service has become the pride of the Northeast and only medical college from the entire Northeast to figure amongst the top 50 medical institutions of India in the last four years continuously. So, especially for the young students and youngsters, this is my happy, I am very happy to participate with you. And uh, with these few words, I have great pressure to inaugurate this new building of dental college as well as the new modular OT and OT complex of Regional Institute of Medical Sciences. The 50 badded hospital at Jiribam's Ningxing Kohl reported the lake's adequate doctors. Visitors told Impact News that the hospital's OPD closes after attending only a few patients as it is being manned by only two doctors and some patients have even fainted while in long queues. The hospital lakes orthopedics as well as gynecologists to treat pregnant women, bringing inconvenience during child delivery. Locals have urged the relevant departments to look into the matter and penalize those doctors who have failed to perform their duties. เรียกว่าเป็นเซลล์ลิสต์อาการนี้เองนะเป็นเซลล์ลิสต์อาการนี้เองนะเป็นเซลล์ลิสต์อาการนี้เองนะเป็นเซลล์ลิสต์อาการ
District Election Officer Imphal East District under the instruction of Chief Electoral Officer Manipur and overall supervision of Election Commission of India today initiated the collection of Aadhaar numbers from voters in Imphal East on voluntary basis. The initiative was carried out to link the Aadhaar number of voters to electoral roll. This is to eliminate doubling of voters' name in the electoral roll and also to avoid repetition of voters' name in the two or more constituencies. Additional District Election Officer Polim Lenin Singh kick-started the initiative for Imphal East District. He appealed the already existing voters and newly registered voters to submit their Aadhaar number the electoral registration officer and assistant electoral registration officer or booth level officer and show their cooperation with the initiative. Pumlin Yangbi Development Organization today demanded clarification from Sugnu MLA Kangunjam Ranjit who reportedly said that ring band have been constructed in the middle of Pumlin part along with a road within the lake which can be accessed by trucks during the assembly session on July 13th. While refuting to the claim of the MLA Pumlin Yangbi Development Organization demanded the MLA to point out the road which he mentioned in the assembly and further warns of indefinite blocking the Wabagai Sugnu road if the MLA fails to come out with a clarification and the MLA will be held responsible for any untoward incident that ensued. Talking to media persons in this regard at Manipur Press Club, Vice President of the organization Waikom Inganba said the statement made by the MLA portrays the villages of Pumlin Yangbi in bad light. He said the village will la which lacks even the basic electricity have not been built a road in the middle of the Pumlin part. Pumlin Patki may either the Tasape or Lambi for the same Zale, Hibu of Homsi, the same Masi Tama. But I'm going to develop Pangan Lava, Equi Kunzazi Tamo, the Tan, Tin Mudon Tui. Aduna Masi, Yaragadi, on ever Charnaque, Karawa, the same Lambino, Karamba Lambino Habitu, Yam Pazana Clearance, Amka Pibu, Karigumba, Equi Clearance, Pibi, the Taragadi, Equi, the same Hamatanda, Hying Tangani, Tanipan, Sibuki Manunda, Clearance, Pibu, Amadi, Aduna Tabata, Taragadi, Equi, Tang, Ahum Malhaidi, Matang Tangabatang, Ahum Degi. Why do Sugunu Rose equate whenever Sarah equate clearance? We did about the Cotton Equate, Banto Journey and Equate again from the next injury. Ketri Gau Emile Sheikh Nurul Hassan says various state and centrally sponsored schemes and projects are not given to the public in charity, but these are their rights. He was speaking at the Community Convergence Achievement Mela held at Ketri Maya Lekai today. Khetri Gao Part 1 Gram Panchayat and Khetri Bangun Al Nisa Village Level Federation Khetri Gao jointly organized the event sponsored by Manipur State Rural Livelihood Missions and PRI CBO Convergence Project. MLA Sheikh Nurul Hassan said that the fair will not only showcase various items produced by the local self help groups but it would also raise awareness of various schemes and projects he appealed to officials of the relevant departments to ensure these schemes and projects to the beneficiaries the mla opined that village level federation of ketrigao part two should be increased in order to increase the numbers of self-help groups from the existing 11 to more so as to boost the income of the local women folk ketrigao part one pradhan mohammed fazur Rahman, 11 Ketrigao Zilla Parishad member Najrul Islam and MS LRM Livelihood District Coordinator Nomaitem Prabhina took part in the event. To Dusragi and Pazanale, Naharuki Lay, Tavang Kongi Lay, Bamun Kampugi Lay, Top Noriagi Lay, Ketrigao Part 1, Part 2, Sina, Quaidegi Hantaram Vadu Mali, S. Party Report. Hire is a Hingatnanava, Hena Sokatana, Hena Hazava, Atopa Lady River, BLF Singh, Dagitsang, Tadana, Lakadu River Chahi, Ama, Ani Hesigi Manunga, full fledged Petrigaugi polling Nifuga, Taruk, Kungan Kuntra, Gram Panchai, Taretka Masunga Masi, the Lady River, Ato Atopa, BLF Singh, Dagitsang, Tadana, Lena Nabohona Minasia. Senior citizens and differently abled persons of Bishnupur district today received aids and assistive devices under Samajik Adhikarita Sibir. Ministry of Social Justice Empowerment 
Artificial Limbs Manufacturing Corporation of India, Alimco, Kanpur District Administration, Vishnupur and Department of Social Welfare, Government of Manipur jointly organized their distribution event at Kiyamba Ningsing Sanglen as a part of Azadika Amrit Motsab. Speaking on the occasion, Union Minister of State Pratima Bhomik said, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has initiated various schemes for the welfare of the public. 5,706 beneficiaries receive AIDS and assistive devices on the occasion. <laughs> Water Resource and Relief Disaster Management Minister Awang Bao Niumai has inspected the condition of Loktak lift irrigation machinery in Bishnupur district. Taking part in the inspection today, Moirang Emile Thongam Shanti apprised the minister about the scarcity of water facing farmers in the district. The minister assured of providing new transformers to facilitate irrigation for the farmers within a couple of days. Department officials and staff took part in the inspection visit. Manipur Pineapple Festival Committee will organize Q Pineapple Festival from August 19 to 20 at Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Ground Bangalore High School campus in Churchanpur district. Speaking to media at Manipur Press Club today, committee spokesperson N.G. Sang said around 100 pineapple farmers will put up stalls during the festival. Pineapple Miss Manipur Khangani Aduga Pineapple Show Contest Dogani. Adumikha Tabada Adugile Tengnanaba Former Singdagi Stall Chama. Hangdan Aduna Kihom Mela Chinjagani Kihom Stall Chama Hai Bashina Lamashina Kudung Chada Vadagi Chama Khaktang Thamjari. One Ashuri Bakihom Former Sing Pungding Togan Nanaba Haidana Kihom Mela Chinjabana. Kihom Gimaram the Migi Malantandaba. Manipur self support Uiba Yananaba Adui Pandamda. Chief Functionary of Henlum Promotion Council Manipur Chingtam Luang says a strong state policy for Henlum and handicraft can prevent the import of its imitation varieties. Chingtam Luang was speaking at the 23rd Henlum Day observance held at GM Hall today. He also stressed on the need to find out root cause of these influx of duplicate items. Manipur state ki ruling government se for the last 40 years aisa mang na thengar ko 40 years thengar ko si ki experience the am seriously mo koi log de so log log de ko si phawu log de ane log bolye adu ki khushaun na bani imai bhi mayan pi yoli bese ma pan ki yon bibo ina la ko si akoi kramai na madu di akoi ki pi sahaba ki culture history na kado ino hai wahang la ko tu na madu ki pakhcha ba ma yau na mohi tau eramgani madu matung da di madu tau ning de. Helung ki lamda kana kana madhu survive taunu ba revive taunu ba promotional activities kana kana lady ka aje thiye khum me hai raga ay koi khane mi na bhi ay adu ke government da amato ei na koi pressure taunu ba machangi. Milal press note says it will boycott anyone or any association challenging or trying to replace the 27 letters of Mitai Mayek already recognized by the government. 25th ranker of Bosim HSLC examination 2022, Sheikh Masood and other meritorious students of Hafiz Brighter in Kaiku Imphal East District were felicitated today. The program was held at a school. Speaking on the occasion, social scientist Dhanavir Lashram motivated the students to strive for greater heights. AR Khan, IAS retired and school principal Ranjit Huidim grace the event.
Maga Pumatai, Tokoy Matai, Mina Munda Kamoga, please not that in your mind. Mark Pungomi and Gimatata, Bai Padimatata, Quite the Ahan Munoto, whatever the I Akawa, me, Oikas. Our music will be busy Han Pandam Tamedana, Adu Maga Pumia, and Kaji. Maga Pumaba, Yamatiksa, Ama Pai, Munti, if you send the Ada Tore Tore, IS of Savoy Great, Dr. Roy Great, Engineer Roy Great, Masidi Mapama presenting great. Ten day long workshop on Tangta and Manipuri dance on the theme Tulam Chakidama the Ekoi Gi Inatpu Yokatsi, which was jointly organized by all Manipur Arts and Culture Students Union Amaksu and Sangit Nata Kanglai Tangta Manipur Academy concluded today at Iro Majrao Mamanglai Gai Ning Mandap. According to the press not released by Amaksu, the workshop was organized with the motive to inform the present generations about the importance of art and culture of the state. Center has formed a task force today in the wake of monkeypox cases in India to monitor and provide guidance to the government on the expansion of diagnostic facilities and to explore vaccination for the infection in the country. The decision was taken during a meeting which was attended by Cabinet Secretary, Union Health Secretary Rajesh Bhushan, Additional Secretary, PMO and other senior officials. India has reported four monkeypox cases so far. Three cases in Kerala and one in Delhi. A youth in Kerala presenting monkeypox-like symptoms died following which State Health Minister Veena George initiated a high-level inquiry. A week ago, the WHO had declared the viral zoonotic disease as a global emergency. An antiviral agent developed for the treatment of smallpox has also been licensed for the treatment of monkeypox. And now the sports news. Bodybuilders Association of Taubal has organized the 7th Mr. Taubal and 4th Men's Fitness Bodybuilding Championship under the aegis of All Manipur Bodybuilders Association. Kakching Zilla Parishad Upadakshya Muhammad Nazimuddin, 54 Asian Championship. Bronze medalist Jinkhaingan Bathokpam and Bodybuilders Association of Taubal Vice President K. Bikram Jit graced the event held at Kongchom War Memorial Complex yesterday. In the championship senior men's category, K. Dinesh Kumar of the Fit Thaubal Mela ground back the first prize. D. H. Maxwell of Royal Fitness Academy Thaubal backed the second spot and John Akujam backed the third position. While in the junior men's category, S. Rohit of the Fit Thaubal Mela ground back the first spot, S. Manimatum of K. B. Jim Thaubal Nongkangkung secured second and L. Josh Swami of Salai Fitness Swangjing back to third position. In men's fitness physique, S. H. Bikodor of the fit Taubal Mela ground back to first position. Kori Mayum Anish of B. Fit Jim Herangoy Thong secured second position and Iranda Sakelambam of K. B. Jim Taubal Nongkangkong won third position. Altogether, 22 bodybuilders have competed in the championship. Manipur Olympic Association in a press note today congratulated Saiko Mirabai Chanu and Bindia Rani Devi Sarokaibam on winning a gold medal and a silver, respectively, in the ongoing 22nd Commonwealth Games in Birmingham. Before we end, let's take a look at headlines once again. Important documents, weapons reduced to ashes as major fire broke out at Crime Investigation Department office in Babupara. House of Second Session of 12 Manipur Legislative Assembly passes demands for grants of over 2,461 crore rupees on day 7. Chief Minister Nankomban Birain says Sangai Ethnic Heritage Park has been shifted to Moirang Kuno as a park at Taibolamja would harm Sangai's inhabitants. MLA Komukchum Joy Kishin Pro State Assembly's attention to loss of life due to time taken in checking by 28 Assam Rifles at Kudeng Kabi Check.
Chief Minister Ambirin seeks public cooperation in lifting liquor ban in Manipur. Ambirin says it will boost state income and save lives from spurious liquor. MPCC party takes jive at BJP government for failing to uproot corruption, says corruption-free claim is a shame. It means carrying out corruption free. Manipur locks 59 new confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the past 24 hours. Coronavirus infects 1,39,133 people so far. And India adds 16,464 new COVID-19 cases, above 16,000 recoveries and 39 deaths in 24 hours. COVID case load stands above 1,43,000. And that's all we have in this edition of the English Primetime Bulletin. Thank you for joining us. Coming up next is Primetime Manipuri Bulletin. For more news, you can also follow Impact TV on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube. Till then, good night. Stay indoors and stay safe. Awaba Fungdok Jabra, Directorate of Horticulture and Soil Conservation, Sanjay Thong Infagi, Engineering Stelda, Assistant Engineer, AE Oyna Lai Biramba, 